Thank you. I'm gonna talk about dating, which I know is revolutionary for a female comic. Uh, I have issues with dating. I feel like my biggest problem is I attract a very specific type of guy. Like his name's probably Jason. He's really into ultimate Frisbee. His favorite movie is Talladega Nights. He uses words like magical to describe his day. Like a golden retriever, you know? Like a golden retriever, like, you're so cute, I just wanna slap a collar on you and cut off your testicles. You know the type of guy that just by looking at him, you can guess his favorite sexual position is the one where one person's in doggy style and the other person is standing in the corner calling their mom to come pick them up? That's my favorite too. I also have pretty low standards. I figured this out from watching my hotter friends in relationships. I was like Jane Goodall observing the gorillas. Hot gorillas. <laughs> A friend of mine broke up with her boyfriend of two weeks because he forgot her half birthday. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could be going out with a guy for two years and that guy could forget my name and I would be like, it is so great that we are still learning things about each other. <laughs> Another friend of mine dumped a guy because he didn't respond to her text fast enough. I was once going out with a guy who didn't say anything to me for six weeks and I was like, this is love. <laughs> Plain and simple. I love how when I say a guy didn't say anything to me for six weeks, it's pathetic, but when women in the 40s waited two years for their husbands to come back from the war, it was considered romantic. <laughs> Such a double standard. At least I was doing something in those six weeks. At least I could survive without a man. They didn't even have vibrators back then. <laughs> Homegirls had to use the corner of the washing machine. <laughs> Your grandmothers for two years were hunched over the washing machine waiting for your grandfathers to come back from World War II so they could drink cherry Cokes and be racist together. But I'm the loser. Just because I thought my relationship could withstand a six week Call of Duty binge. But I support the troops. I'm just a girl standing in front of a guy hoping that he'll notice me in the reflection of his mom's TV. <laughs> I told that joke one time and someone was like, you know, vibrators did exist in the 40s. They were actually invented in the 1800s and they were given to women to treat insanity. Yeah. I was like, gosh, I wish medicine still worked like that. <laughs> You're clinically insane. I don't know, have you tried masturbating? <laughs> You're not schizophrenic, you're just not rubbing one out on the regular. <laughs> That's your issue. Because now when I see someone masturbating, I assume they're crazy. Like a guy masturbated at me on the subway the other day. I don't know, it was kind of a nice compliment. I was like, I didn't know I looked that good. <laughs> Isn't masturbation worthy outfit, seriously? And it changed the way that I look at men because now if I see a creepy guy and he doesn't masturbate at me, I'm like, he's right, I could be trying harder. <laughs> and this guy, after he finished, he took out a heroin needle. I was like, hmm, maybe pick one. <laughs> You're doing too much. <laughs> Can't be the masturbation guy and the heroin guy on this train. That's taking someone's job and I will not stand for it. And also like, am I not enough for you? <laughs> Don't build up my confidence like that. I was recently in Brookline, Massachusetts for some reason. And a woman came up to me and she looked me up and down and she went, hmm, that's a nice dress, but you're really pale. And then she just went, I'm Russian. And I was really offended by this. And then I was like, eh, you know what, maybe this is just how this woman gives a compliment. Like she says something nice and then she insults you and then she just like states a fact. <laughs> that's like me saying, that's a nice handbag. You have cankles. The average age of the Vietnam soldier was 19. <laughs> also, she said she was Russian. I'm Ukrainian, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I've been Skylar Khan, thank you.